the second part of a, an irregular series of me walking the Wandle Trail. Uh, I'm in my hometown of Carshalton, sorry there's a bit of sun in the eyes here, uh, and we're going to be going from Carshalton down to Mitcham. Uh, it's a very short walk but show some of the history and the landscape. Uh, we're just by Carshalton Water Tower. Uh, I'm going to go across Carshalton Pond where the source, one of the sources of the Wandle is. The other is in Wadden, which was the last walk we did uh, back in September. So uh, yeah, here we go. It's a lovely day, about 15 degrees, spring is coming. Let's go for a walk. This is a delightful London plane tree. Okay, here we are. Carshawton Pond, which is the source, one of the sources of the Wandle, River Wandle, that goes all the way up to Wandsworth. There's Honeywood Museum in the background, which I'm going to take you around um, some other point. So this was one big body of water up until about the 1820s when the uh, bridge was built. This is an ancient site. The church in the background is actually up on a bit of the ground and there's a lot of evidence to say that it actually was an ancient settlement. So uh, that's really interesting, especially as it's near a body of water. Grove. Sorry, the sun's in the eyes, it's very bright. And then I've walked down to one of the uh, water mills. Water mills were used for a variety of industries um, for many, many years, up until sort of the early 20th century. And here's a great example of one that's been preserved. I'll post the link to my Ancient Isles episode uh, in the description below, which is a bit more of a comprehensive history about Carshalton. Carshalton, oh, actually, interestingly, we used to be called in a variation of the word of Alton, which means a spring or a well. So, in a way, this settlement really owes itself to the River Wandle and this body of water. Okay, we're going down here. It's interesting. I live around the corner. I didn't even know this pathway was here. It's not obviously. It's not that old. I think it's 1980s or early 1990s. So you can hear the trickling of the wandle. The only difference, of course, has, because we're in suburbia, it's constant noise around, but um, it can't be helped. It's one of those things. If you want peace and quiet, obviously, go out to the countryside. But it's still a fascinating walk. There's so much history. It's actually a very cool place to, to live actually, Carshalton. These would have been old mills back in the day. There seem to be students doing some ecology in the river, as you do. <laughs> the Strawberry Lodge, I think believed to be built in the 1600s originally. That's a very historic house. It's now a, I think it's a 
church. Yeah, Carshorton Baptist Church. We're in Wilderness Island Nature Reserve. We're not going to look around, but uh, I'm going to have a quick show you. Railway line up there. Back when I was growing up in the 70s, the wonder really was murky, very murky. And they did this big clean up, and it's now quite often the case it's like spring water. It's a really nice day, getting a bit hot now. There's some artwork we've come across here. This is really cool. Check this out. People have made little plots. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? This whole area, whenever I drive over the bridge, I keep seeing this. I keep needing to come and have a look. Trail, we to go to eat. Haha! Oh my god, look at this. chap over there making something. It's amazing. It's like a little sculpture park. <laughs> okay we're going over the road now. So you see go this way to school. Go to go to Hatbridge Primary down there. And um, yes we did walk to school when we were young. Um, but all this was an utter disaster area and now I've just turned into this lovely nature reserve. <laughs> delightful. Blue skies, warm, springs on its way. Lots of walking coming up. The next part of this walk will be Mitcham to Mordenhall Park and we'll have a walk around Mordenhall Park and then from Mordenhall Park probably up to Merton Abbey Mills. So that's the part I haven't done before although I work in Wimbledon I've not really explored that for a while so that'll be interesting. Might show you the old abbey underneath the supermarket that's still there. Wandle Valley Nature Reserve. <laughs> the Wandle Trail. Okay, this is where it's going to end. But I'm walking back home down that way, so I'm going to take you past uh, a little bit more scenery. Hello. Hello, darling. How are you? <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Enjoying the Wandle Trail? <laughs> See ya! Oh, you can with me, are you? Come with me. We think that's an old fire station there, could be wrong. Some original grindstones from the old mills that were in this area. There was one actually just on this site here. And they just put them in the ground as a memento. But that's it folks, hope you've enjoyed the little trip. Next time, as I say, we'll go from Mitcham to Morton Hall Park. Uh, enjoy the sun when it comes out, get outside and start walking. Take it easy. <laughs>